The Canadian government is cracking down on anyone who opposes its tyrannical health mandates. But behind the scenes, pro-death activists are plotting to kill Canada's sick and elderly. Church Militant's Aidan O'Connor takes a closer look at a battle for life or suicide in British Columbia. The Delta Hospice Society is gearing up to fight for life in the Great White North. Next week, the nonprofit society known as DHS will hold its first ever virtual annual general meeting to introduce life affirming bylaws and amendments. DHS aims to provide legitimate palliative care to the sick and dying, but it has been locked in a battle with the provincial government and pro euthanasia radicals for over two years. The society's president, Angelina Ireland spoke with Church Militant about the battle to affirm life. It's a showdown between the pro-life, pro-palliative care uh, members versus the death squad. Ireland explained that a pro-death squad of society members is vying to take over and push suicide instead of true care. The death squad is targeting Ireland and so-called rogue board members, all of whom are pro-life and mostly Catholic. Last year, DHS lost two facilities after refusing to offer MAID, medical assistance in dying, which pushes euthanasia. We just have drawn the line and said no, euthanasia does not belong inside of the palliative care model, and we're not going to participate in that. At next week's general meeting, members of the society will decide their future in a true matter of life and death. Aidan O'Connor, Church Militant, Evening News, Detroit. Delta Hospice Society has created a Do Not Euthanize advanced directive for members to avoid being coerced into euthanasia or being killed against their will. 